A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Fethullah Gülen, the Turkish cleric who became a polarizing figure due to accusations of orchestrating a bloody coup attempt in Turkey in 2016, has passed away at the age of 83. Reports from Turkish media and a social media announcement from a movement affiliated with him confirmed that he died after being admitted to a hospital in Pennsylvania, where he had been living in self-imposed exile since 1999. Galen was often referred to as Turkey's second most powerful man and was the spiritual leader of the Galen movement, a significant Islamic community with followers not only in Turkey but around the world. Galen's rise to prominence started with his advocacy for education as a means to guide the youth of Turkey, which he believed had lost their way. He was known for promoting a version of Islam that emphasized altruism, modesty, and hard work. His movement, known as Hizmet, which means service in Turkish, initially gained traction by establishing schools and educational institutions in Turkey and globally. As the movement expanded, its followers began to infiltrate various sectors, including business, government, and the military. Initially, Galen and President Recep Tayyip Erdogan were allies, but their relationship soured dramatically in 2013. Tensions escalated when corruption investigations targeted Erdogan's inner circle, which many believed were orchestrated by galen affiliated police officers. In a significant turning point, Erdogan vowed to shut down hundreds of galen linked schools and purge the government of what he termed a state within a state. The Turkish government officially designated Hizmet as a terrorist organization in 2016, shortly before the attempted coup took place. On the night of July 15, 2016, a faction of the Turkish military attempted to overthrow Erdogan's government, claiming their actions were aimed at protecting democracy from authoritarian rule. The coup resulted in chaos, with explosions and gunfire reported in major cities, including Istanbul and Ankara. Ultimately, the coup failed, leading to widespread arrests and a government crackdown that targeted thousands of individuals, including military personnel, officials, and bureaucrats. The government held Galen responsible for the coup, a claim he vehemently denied and condemned. In the aftermath of the coup attempt, Galen's movement faced systematic dismantling in Turkey, with many of its institutions shut down and its influence significantly diminished both domestically and internationally. Galen, who was born in 1941 in Erzurum, Turkey, had spent his later years in a secluded compound in Pennsylvania, where he continued to advocate for his vision of a moderate Islam and interfaith dialogue. Throughout his life, Galen remained an elusive figure, often dodging questions about his political stance and refraining from inflammatory rhetoric that could exacerbate tensions in Turkey. In a 2014 interview with BBC News, he emphasized the importance of voting for candidates who respect democracy and the rule of law, reflecting his complex relationship with Turkish politics. As a prominent Islamic scholar and preacher, Galen's teachings and the educational initiatives of his movement have had a lasting impact on many communities worldwide. However, his legacy is marred by the accusations and controversies surrounding his alleged involvement in the 2016 coup attempt, which led to a deepening divide within Turkish society. In his final years, Galen faced health challenges but remained committed to his beliefs and the principles of his movement. His death marks the end of an era for the Galen movement, which has seen its influence dwindle in the wake of the Turkish government's crackdown. As the world reflects on Galen's life and the controversies that surrounded him, the implications of his passing will undoubtedly reverberate through the political landscape of Turkey and beyond. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.